Good morning, Sharks. This is Mrs. Opakowitz, and I have a new book for you this week. It is called Outside Inside by Lee Wen Pham. Um, this book is about what's been happening to us in the past year. We're coming up on a year almost where we've had to be out of school, where people are working from home and learning from home. And this is a really beautiful book that explains that and also gives us some hope that we will be back together. Outside Inside by Li Yuan Pham. Something strange happened on an unremarkable day just before the season changed. Everybody who was outside went inside. Everyone, everywhere, all over the world. Everyone just went inside, shut their doors, and waited. Well, almost everyone. Some people needed to be where they needed to be. Outside, the sky was quiet, but the wind still blew. And birds kept singing, raccoons came out, and squirrels played in the streets. But the cars stayed away. The world felt a little different. Inside, we baked and cooked, made music and watched TV. We read and played games. Some of us worked a little, some of us worked a lot, and some of us couldn't work at all. We all felt a little different. Outside, there were fences, both real and pretend. Swings sat still and slides were lonely. Bells didn't ring and halls were empty. We had birthdays without parties, shared words without sounds, and reached each other without touching. The world was changing a tiny bit outside. Inside, we waited and we worried, we laughed, and we cried, and we tried to breathe. We made things together and did things alone. We hoped and prayed and wished. We were all changing a tiny bit inside. Outside, the world kept growing. Inside, we kept growing too. So why did we all go inside? Well, there were lots of reasons. But mostly because everyone knew it was the right thing to do. On the outside, we are all different. But on the inside, we are all the same. And we remembered that soon spring would come. Inside and outside. 